Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is going to be all about stickers and my tips and tricks on how you can maximize your stickers in your planner. I will be using my memory planner in a sticker kit in this video, but this will work with whatever planner you're using and whatever stickers you have, whether it's a kit from a sticker book or miscellaneous leftover stickers left from either of those options. So I will have all information on products featured in the description box plus related videos let's go ahead and get started when it comes to the stickers that I currently have in my stash I do have a few sticker books primarily from gold mine and cocoa and capital chic and then I also have my reusable sticker books I've condensed my sticker collection so much when I was using my functional planner as my catch-all when I was using a bullet journal, Astology specifically, I would have my plans and my journal all mixed into one, which worked, but I wanted to separate them and I wanted to get back to the essence of planning, which is where my memory planner comes in. This is the Michaels Vertical Neutral Planner. It's a 18-month planner, but I believe they do have a 12-month version of this, but it started in July of last year and goes all the way through December of this year, and this has been the most consistent thing for me. I have been purchasing a lot of sticker kits and having the time of my life because this is my happy place but there are some sticker kits that I have been able to maximize and spread out throughout my planner into not just one spread but two and sometimes three. So to give you an example I have this spread here that I started and I believe these stickers are from Letters to Apollo. So this is for the week of February 15th and what I did was I looked at the kit and saw what stickers I could group together to separate them into two different spreads. Although they still have the same color scheme, I could finesse it a little bit more and have two different aesthetics so to speak. So this one that I went with here was more about the constellations and all of that. Then the other spread that I did was this one which had more earthy elements so I was able to break it up. So still the same color scheme but I put them in two different months. This one again is in February. This spread is in April and I have my full boxes, my half boxes, headers, quarter boxes. So I was able to break that kit up. When it comes to kits a lot of shops either do three or four pages. Primarily that's generally what you see but there are some kits that do that um sticker shops I should say that do deluxe kits and those can be any anywhere from six pages. You'll get headers like personal, to do, errands and things like that and date covers and all of that. This particular kit that I'm going to be using in this video is from Cactus Paper Co and it comes with date covers, two sets, which means that I could really maximize this. I mean, she's setting she's setting you up for greatness when she gives you two different date covers. So for this one, the birthday theme spread that I'm doing, I am going to be using the ones with the balloons. And then for the one that's more generic, I will use these here. And then there are some faux glitter headers here. And I say faux, faux glitter because it's just a glitter print, but it's not like a foil or anything. Then we have the full boxes. This comes with nine full boxes. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four four, five that pertain to a birthday. This one honestly could work with the florals that I have here in this kit. The balloon just happens to be here but I could always layer another sticker on top so I would say one, two, three and Four, I would use in even five. 
So I'm going to use one, two, three, four, and then the other five I will use in a separate kit. So that's for the full boxes. And if I was just using this for one kit, there are seven days in the week. So two of these boxes wouldn't be making the cut anyway. And sometimes that works out with certain kits because I don't like all of the full boxes. And for the ones I just don't like, I toss them. I don't save them. No need to do that. So that's an option. Then this one is more of a functional sheet. So this is great for little memories or headers that I want to do. Then we have the quarter boxes and the half boxes. I will definitely be using these printed ones in the birthday spread. And then this full sheet of icons, which comes with weekend banners and laundry, TV, eating, girls night, family time, grocery shopping, I don't wanna, time to plan, clean, chores, canceled, school, pay bills, lazy day, nope. These are stickers that I just leave in my sticker stash and I will pull these and incorporate these into any spread that I'm working on if they are relevant. So that's that. So here is finished spread number one. I went ahead and took the headers that said this week and next week and put them in my sidebar so I can track happy mail. I don't generally track happy mail all the time but if the stickers are there then I will and then the other shows that I'm watching outside of my standard Monday, Wednesday, Friday I can pop them in the sidebar as well and if the time comes and I want to change the icon then so be it. All the headers are in as well as the glitter headers in between and I have Still four sheets of stickers left and a whole extra kit still here. So I do like Cactus Paper Co. and how you get two sets of date headers. But even if you don't have that in the kit that you purchase, it's cool. You can still use the stickers and leave whatever headers you have there. That's just a cool touch that she has in her sticker kit. So now I'm going to go ahead and jump to... July because I feel like I have some space in between here yep so this week in July here I'm gonna go ahead and add in my day headers as well as the full boxes some of these boxes the half and the quarter boxes and then any icons that I want and then I'll show you guys the finished result so here is spread number two versus spread number one this one clearly is more birthday themed where this one has more florals and there is the champagne here but that could be for any occasion now for my sidebar I did go ahead and adjust from the first week after I did this one I covered up the month in the left hand corner which I love so it's spacious and I did the same thing as I said over here now if I don't have anything in particular to fill in as far as happy mail in this week or next week I can of course change out these stickers and then move them within the spread if I do get mail or I can put nothing literally nothing there or a quote sticker plenty of ways to do it now for spread number two there was a balloon under here and I really didn't want any birthday-esque vibes in this second spread so I took a half box and then I took the weekend banner and I just did a little bit of layering over here as you can see there are still some gray headers which I can use some of the boxes and icons that I have left over when I get to this spread but for now this is it this is the base so here's spread number two and spread number one and that is how I maximize my sticker kits. So what do I have left over from this spread? I have some numbers, which may come in handy in future spreads. And then I have some half boxes left. And then this little thing here. A sheet full of icons. And then this one here with the full boxes is going into the trash because it is done so these will be going into my stash when the week comes up if I want to pull stickers from this kit cool if I pull other stickers from my stash cool 
all of these just go into my stash and if I use these before then then so be it but there's so many ways for you to maximize your sticker kits this is just one of the basic ones even if you're using a sticker book you can still maximize how you play around with the full boxes and half boxes and quarter boxes offered in those sticker books as well and for your leftover stickers I do have a video on creating spreads with those so I'll have it linked in the description box along with other related videos so be sure to check out the links in the description box which will have links to not just products featured such as cactus paper code which is where I got these stickers from as well as my memory planner which is the vertical neutral from Michaels I'll also have related videos as I said and of course the links to my blog not my blog if you want to check out my blog, it's chaoticcritic.com. If you want to check out my Instagram, it is at chaoticcritic. And my shop Instagram is at shop15roses. So that's that on that. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments. Let me know how you guys maximize your stickers. Do you maximize your stickers? Are you a sticker person? Let me know in the comments. Would love to chat with you there. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.